In our previous class, we had seen how to get the inputs from the user and display the message in particular text component that is the bind text component what the user has entered. Now you might ask this layout looks little ugly. So why not little style and why to wait until we learn the styling components classes. Let's now style this application. Now if you see over here, there is a grid row created over here. Now if you just click on this grid row in the layout, it is having three of the flex components. If you just click on flex, what it will do is it will add one component each in each row. So this is what the flex is doing. There is one more that is the flex bar. So this component that is input text, it will occupy few frames and then the other component will occupy few other frames. Let us not confuse with the frames. We will discuss in detail what does the frame concept in Visual Builder mean. In order to look this application neat and clean, let me go for this flex. Now one more thing, what you can see over here in the input text, if you look at the data, it is showing curly braces. Now if you look at this bind text over here, it is showing in the square brackets. Now what square bracket means, if we are assigning any variable with the square bracket followed by the name, it means this is a read only. We cannot write to this variable. Suppose in the input text, if I change this data from curly braces to square bracket over here, we are telling this variable is read only now. Now what and all user will enter in this component, it won't be written into this variable. Let us try that. Go to the live mode. Let us change the message to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and tab out. So it is not updating the variable value and it is not updating over here. So in order to fix this, what we can do is we can make use of curly braces. That is we can remove square braces with the curly braces. Now as soon as we tab out, what and all value was available over here under the greetings that is input text will be reflected over here. Let me just type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and tab out. Now it is reflecting over here in the bind text. Since we are making use of same variable name that is hello message in order to get the value from the user and show it on the bind text. So this is the very important concept you have to make sure that whenever you assign any variable to an input component that is to accept the value from the user. So it should be having this curly braces, not the square brackets. Sometimes when we drag and drop, Oracle will put square brackets and you will end up entire day debugging why it is not working. So first thing you have to see is it is mapped to this curly braces for input components and for displaying purpose you can show this square brackets. 